NES drunk. Sunsoft had a good amount of success on the NES. They developed everything from Batman to the Spy Hunter games to Journey to Silius to Blaster Master, but their output on the Super Nintendo was, uh, kinda lacking. They mostly had a hand in Looney Tunes games like Death Valley Rally, which was a pretty big disappointment, and Daffy Duck The Marvin Missions, which is just okay-ish at best. Even their non-Looney Tunes stuff wasn't that great, like Arrow the Acrobat, which is a very average game. Speedy Gonzales, Los Gatos Bandidos slots in right alongside those games. It's not bad, but you'd probably expect a lot more from a Sunsoft game made later on in the SNES lifespan in August of 1995. As you might expect, this is your typical licensed platformer. You get a health meter with three lives and three continues to get through six levels, divided into two or three stages each, but there's no way to save and no password system, which is kind of lousy because this game can get pretty long. Now, you're not going to believe this, but you press the B button to jump and the Y button to attack, and there's special items you can pick up, like little clocks that add to your time, and if you collect 100 of these cheese wheels, you get an extra life. Okay, it's obvious this game was made for kids. It's an extremely simple game for the most part. There's only a couple different ways this game stands out. One is the structure. You gotta speed around these huge levels and rescue your mice friends that were captured and held prisoner. And there's at least four in every stage, sometimes as many as nine. And the beginning of each stage will tell you how many mice you gotta get. And you're held to a three minute time limit, which brings me to the other way this game stands out. And again, I was just floored to learn this, but it turns out that Speedy Gonzales is fast. So the game kinda sorta not really maybe plays a little bit like a Sonic game, just with really dumbed down level design. To the game's credit, it tries to lean into the whole speed thing, and you can use the L and R buttons to move the viewpoint around, but you can only do it when you're standing still, which uh, kinda defeats the purpose. At least you can move the viewpoint up and down to avoid any blind jumps. All told though, the controls are fine, and it's pretty fun to zoom around as speedy once you get some momentum going, and once you know the level design a little bit. But unfortunately, the game just can't help but spring traps on you, like insta-death spikes, which is just stupid. I mean, leave stuff like that in a game for Slowpoke Rodriguez, not for a game where your character runs really fast. In addition to that, your primary attack is this short little kick, so the controls can be a bit of a weird contrast between sprinting through the level and stopping on a dime to make sure you take out enemies without taking damage yourself. This game is still pretty dang easy, but little things like that take what could be a good game and knock it down a couple of notches. Speedy Gonzales also has some goofy programming trivia going for it. If you play this game any way you can, so to speak, the game will lock up in the first stage of level 6. You have to hit a switch to complete the level, but when you do that while playing this game in most emulators, the game will lock up. Apparently it's trying to read from an unmapped memory address, so the game gets stuck in a loop until it finds the value it's looking for. As far as I know, the regular cart does not have this problem. I guess it's just the way certain emulators work or something like that. I don't know, man. I, I just work here. But yeah, Speedy Gonzales Los Gatos Bandidos is pretty much exactly what you would expect from a licensed Super Nintendo game. Just throw it on the pile with all the others, really. Another not great, not terrible game, but at least you can kind of see what they were going for when they made this one. It's a game clearly made for younger kids, so it's got really simple gameplay, and it's really faithful to the source material. The visuals here hold up their end of the bargain, although I will say it's kind of weird to have a mouse sprite be this big. Speedy looks more like a fox or something. But yeah, time unfortunately left this game behind. You can do much better than this one. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.